Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And as you can see from the title, today I'm going to show you guys my vinyl collection. You can call it LPs, you can call it records, you can call it wax, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I have. I don't have too many. I've only been collecting for about maybe four or five years. And I'm a little bit picky and choosy about what I grab on LP because it is a little pricey and they do take up some space. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys in no particular order the things that I have. Most of these are soundtracks. Some of them are not. But the first one we have here is Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. And this was a horror anthology that came out in the 80s and it had three stories and each figure here represents one of the stories and when this record came out there was three different colors of the vinyl and each color represented one of the creatures the one I have was the mummy that was my favorite story in this anthology and I'll show you that vinyl it was kind of a goldish color to represent the mummy you can see there's some really nice interior artwork there. And then it's a little bit harder to read this, kind of this chicken scratch here, but it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to read that to you guys. Um, I guess I should mention that this record was put up by Waxwork Records. And if you guys would like to pause that to read the track listings for side A. And side B. And there you can see the Waxwork Records logo. And here is what the vinyl looks like. It's got kind of a gold swirl to it. Really nice touch to that record this little set here I like that so that is Tales from the Dark Side the movie the next one here is probably one of my favorites in my collection and this is the original Friday the 13th and this record came out in 2013 it's now out of print and it's pretty hard to find and if you do find it it's very pricey this has a nice gatefold here I kept a little sticker. It's 180 gram vinyl. Liner notes by director Sean Cunningham and composer Harry Manfredini. Artwork by Jay Shaw and Jackie Oakley. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to get in there and read that, but if you would like to try to pause that and read that, please feel free. Here is the track listing, side A and side B. And this record was kind of a murky blackish green. It's hard to explain. I just have to show you guys. Here's a uh, an art print of oh, that is pretty cool. I forgot about this. This should probably be framed. It's a pretty nice looking. Uh, print but here's the vinyl it's hard to pick up on the camera it, it probably looks black to you guys but it's a very dark green I don't know how else I can really show it it's just a dark murky green it does look really cool so that is Friday the 13th the original the next one here is City of the Living Dead. And this is put out by Death Waltz Record, and that art is really awesome. This one is not a gatefold. So I just leave the plastic on this one, and then I slide the, the vinyl out through here on the side. You guys can see it's a red vinyl. You can see white on there, that's just little specks of dust and stuff from inside the uh, little paper and stuff that's inside the uh, release here. But And there's also a poster that's the same image that's on the cover here. And 
and this is the definitive version of the classic Italian soundtrack. It includes 17 newly remastered tracks, including several unreleased cues, and a bonus 10-minute live suite recorded in London in 2013. It includes the free fold-out poster that I just showed you guys, kind of. I'm not going to pull it out. It's the same image. And then here on the back, um, you can... Uh, See the track listings and the cover art was by Graham Humphreys, I should uh, point out. He is a spectacular artist. The next one here is Friday the 13th Part 3 3D and I have two different editions of this. I have this one which is considered the plain edition and I have the also the uh, lenticular 3D cover that's uh, signed and I'll show you guys that later. But. This one is put up by Waxwork Records. It's got this really nice image on the inside here. And this is a two record set. And the first one is white with red speckles, red like red bloody handprints. And I believe the second one is also the same. Let's see if I can pull this out here. I believe it's the same. Yeah. So I can, I'll put that stuff away later. I don't want to take up too much time here doing that, but there you can see the track for side A and side B. And then you have side C and D. And the album art is by Gary Pullen, ghoulish Gary Pullen. And that's a really nice image there in the back. So that is Friday the 13th, Part 3, 3D. And the next one here is Cannibal Holocaust. That's a really nice image of a... From far away, it looks like a bloody skull, but as you get closer, it's just different victims and cannibals from the film. Gatefold artwork there. And on the back you can see the track listing. This was put out by Mondo. And this was um, a film from 1980. And Grindhouse Releasing owns the rights to this movie. Let's see if I can pull this out one handed. Okay, so I paused it for a second just so I can pull it out, and it's got kind of a clear green color to it. This is a really nice looking record. Kind of a translucent slime green color. Now that is Cannibal Holocaust. And the next one here is Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is a nice image here on the cover. You can see the newspaper clippings from all the murders that were happening throughout the city. And this is a two record set here. You got side one and two. And then you have side three and four. And this was put up by Death Waltz Records. And the first disc here is red. And I believe the other one is green. Oops, sorry about that. A little malfunction. And the second one is indeed green. It's like a translucent green. And then it comes with this art print here. Very, very nice. Silent Night, Deadly Night. The next one here is Friday the 13th, Part 2. And you can see that this is Sackhead Jason. Nice little gatefold here. And there's the head of Pamela Voorhees. And this film came out in... 1981 and this is put out by Waxwork Records. You can see that it is one record A and B. 
And I think this one was the blue and white that was supposed to kind of signify Pamela Voorhees sweater. So you are actually blue and red. Like her sweater in the movie. It's like a light, kind of like a sky blue, baby powder blue or whatever you want to call it. So that is that. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. I just want to kind of show all this without making it too long. The next one I have here is Friday the 13th, the series. And this is really, it's just a regular black record. So I'm not going to pull that out. This is an original record. This is not a reprint. This one came out in 1989, and this is from the television series Friday the 13th. And it has, I don't know if you guys can see the track listing up there at the top. That's a nice little collectible. Glad to have that in the collection. Next one here is Fulci's Zombie, or also known as Zombie Flesh Eaters. Put out by Death Waltz Records. This is the Strong Uncut Edition. <clears throat> this is a very nice set here. I really enjoy this one. There you can see it just has sequences for their song titles. And this one just has kind of a zombie gray tone to it. And it's 180 gram vinyl. Pretty thick and heavy. So that is Zombie Flesh Eaters. The next one here I imported from Italy. And this is Ennio Morricone's Paura, a collection of scary and thrilling soundtracks. This one was limited to 499 copies. And I don't know if this one is limited or numbered, I can't remember, but I picked this up at Rust Blade over in Italy. Um, it doesn't have a individual number, it just says. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It says here in this bottom corner, limited to 499 copies. And there you can see the track listing. And then this is clear vinyl. So that's pretty cool. I really like this record. That's really nice. The next one here is another Death Waltz record, and this is House by the Cemetery. Check out that artwork. I believe this is Graham Humphreys again. Let me double check. It is. And this one is not a gatefold. It does have a poster that's uh, the same images here on the cover. I'm not going to pull that out. And the vinyl is... There's a little uh, statement there by Graham Humphreys, if you guys would like to pause that and read it. And again, there's the track listing. And then the vinyl is translucent red. Very nice. So that is House by the Cemetery. Next one is a, a fun film for me. A lot of people hate this one, I guess. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite Fulci films. And this is New York Ripper, and I really like that cover. It's kind of a throwback. Kind of like a an old-timey uh, theater poster. Something you would see in the 70s. You can see like the, the crease marks in there where it was folded. And then it has a 25 cent sticker there that's supposed to look like it's an old, kind of like a throwback. And then there is the track listing there at the bottom. This was put up by Death Waltz. And this one is not a gatefold. I'll just pull out the vinyl here. I think this one might be just black. It is. Just a plain black record. So, next one here is H.P. Lovecraft's Reanimator. I really like that image. Put 
uh, by Waxwork, and the cover art was done by Ghoulish Gary Pullen again. This is one of my all-time favorite horror films, and there you can see the track listing. And the music was composed and conducted by Richard Band in this film. And I believe this one was also just black. Oh no, I was wrong. It's uh, green and white. It's 180 gram and it's very thick. Very thick. Uh, there you can see Brian Usna. That's uh, actually that's Stuart Gordon. Sorry about that. Yeah, the next one here is Trick or Treat, another horror anthology that was kind of uh, based around the Halloween season. And this is a really nice addition. I know this one sold out right away. It was uh, it came in many different colors. I think like three or four different colors, and the one that was candy corn colored vinyl sold out almost instantly. I got the black and orange swirl with a little bit of red in there and this was two records so the second one was also the same I believe it was the same color let me just see if I can peek in there show you guys it's mostly orange with a little bit of black This is a really fun horror anthology. Most of you guys, if not all of you guys that are watching this, have seen this already. But this is a really good soundtrack, too. It's good to put on around the Halloween season. But if you haven't seen the movie, check it out. And if you get a chance to buy the soundtrack, certainly pick that up. If you get it on CD or, or vinyl, pick it up. Next one is another one I imported from Italy, from Rust Blade. And this is the original soundtrack for Demons by Claudio Simonetti and this is the limited edition green vinyl I believe on the website they called it vomit green and there you can see the track listing for side A and side B and this is another favorite of mine and you can see the color there on the inside it's got that like uh, kind of like a slimer green slime green so I'm not gonna pull that all the way out but that's that is awesome great movie demons the next one here is the beyond and I believe this is yet another Graham Humphreys cover it's got a nice gatefold here with the, the uh, bewitched eyes and let me see here who did the cover cover by Graham Humphreys right there so you got on one side you got the poster that's exactly that same image and on the other side you have the record and the record is a Kind of a slime green and a translucent green all in one <laughs> so that's pretty cool and it has almost kind of like uh, orange accents in there a little bit that's cool that is the beyond the next one here is creep show and i know this one was pretty popular a lot of guys picked this one up george a romero and stephen king anthology probably one of the best anthologies ever and you can see some of the different stories that took place throughout the movie. And uh, that is really good cover art there. And it's another gatefold. And you can see that it has a comic book style. And you can see Leslie Nielsen's character. There's George A. Romero and Stephen King at the top. There is the track listing, and there are quite a bit of tracks here on this particular soundtrack. And the artwork on this one was done by Gary Pullen again, Ghoulish Gary Pullen. And I 
will pull the record out here. Hold on a second. There was also an art print that came with this particular edition. And I remember when this Creepshow record first came out, if, uh, if you ordered it right away, I can't remember if it was the first 500 or 200, whatever it was, got a, um, a record pad that had the creeper on it that you put on your actual record player and then you put the record on top of the pad so it doesn't get scratched or whatever. Um, but I did get the print, but I didn't get the record pad. But here is the vinyl. It's a really nice purple. Looks really good. So that is Creep Show. And I still have a few to show here yet. So the next one here is Clive Barker's Night Breed. And this was really good. This was a no brainer. Had to get this one. This was also put out by Waxwork. And there you can see the track listing. The film came out in 1990, but this album came out in 2015. And it has really nice artwork on the gatefold. Let's see if I can find the artist. It says, album artwork and design by Rich Kelly. But damn, he did a good job. Salute to you, Rich Kelly. That, that's awesome. And it also comes with some liner notes, I think. And the, the album itself is red and white. And then I believe it does have as an art print. It's, uh, what's his name? Decker. So that is Nightbreed. The next one here is a little uh, Lucio Fulci horror and thriller, kind of a Fulci compilation. You have the original soundtrack music from his films, and these are the movies that the uh, soundtracks are included here. A Lizard and Woman's Skin, The New York Ripper, Manhattan Baby, The Beyond, Demonia, The House by the Cemetery, and The Door to Silence. And this is a really nice addition here. Beautiful gatefold. Very creepy imagery there of a dripping skull with an inverted crucifix on the forehead looking over a sleeping woman with bewitched eyes holding a crucifix that is inverted. And there you have the track listings. If you guys would like to pause that, please feel free to do so. I know I keep repeating that, but I'm just going to kind of keep moving here. And this one was put up by Mondo. I forgot to mention that. And the first record here is kind of a another different, I guess it's kind of a different variation of slime green, a little bit different tone to it, I guess. And the other one here Sorry about that. This video is all over the place. I apologize about that, guys. Here is the art print that came with it, and that's really a really cool image. And then the second record is kind of a translucent red. So that is the Fulci Horror and Thriller. How did they list it? Horror and Thriller original soundtrack music from his films. to the side for now. The next one here is, this is probably my favorite record in my collection and it's Friday the 13th Part 3 3D with the lenticular cover and then it also has Manfredini's signature here at the bottom that he signed in silver pen and then he also drew kind of a chorus bar here at the top. 
and it's it's also signed by ghoulish Gary Pullen right there and then of course he did all the artwork for the records for the uh, cover here uh, inserts and I'm not gonna pull those out the next one here is the howling and this is a newer one to my collection I can't remember if I showed this off in a video or not I got this within the last couple months and this is from waxwork records in conjunction with studio canal and there you can see the track listing this is probably one of the better 1980s kind of synth um, horror soundtrack this is one of the better ones from the 80s and you can see that this has a really nice gatefold image that is beautiful right there I gotta I gotta give props to the artist here this is artwork by Francesco Francavia I'm not familiar with the gentleman at all but he did a great job on this and then you can see the hub for the record the smiley face and then on the inside it's blood red on white so it's really really cool this is one of my favorite records in my collection that is the howling the next one here is a spaghetti western called the big gun down and I, I really enjoy everything and anything that Morricone puts out and um, this is a good movie on top of that and I know that uh, Grindhouse releasing also owns the right to this movie and if you guys haven't already you should check out the blu-ray that Grindhouse put out it's, it's a really good film even if you're not a big spaghetti western fan check it out and you probably like the movie but um, there is the track listing it's two records I have not opened this one yet I'm not gonna open it at this moment I'm not even sure what color records I got on this it's still sealed but I'm gonna keep it sealed for the moment because I just don't want to open it <clears throat> the next one here is the Iron Giant and this is another new one I picked up I I think I got this about like three months ago or so great movie and this is a two record set there's the inside image on the gatefold another movie everybody should see at least once everybody should own this in their collection and this is available on blu-ray now so the movie itself came out in 1999 and this is a movie that I had on VHS DVD and now blu-ray and here are the records I think it's like a silver or gray if I remember like a robot metal gray I think they were both that same here's a image of the iron giant and artwork and design by Jason Edmiston so he did a great job on this one too and the second record here is also kind of like a silver or gunmetal gray whatever you want to call it iron giant gray and there are the track listings I can't remember if I showed you already and only a couple more to show guys this is the last soundtrack well this is actually the last 12 inch soundtrack I do have a 10 inch to show you guys and this is a Joe D'Amato film starring George Eastman and this is absurd and I just watched this again from 88 films just put out a beautiful edition of this on blu-ray and I just watched this a couple nights ago and you can see this image here is from the first scene in the film where George Eastman is kind of running through the woods and there's a priest chasing him in the next scene you see his guts sli sliced open and his he's pulling his uh, intestines out and on the cover of this uh, record here the the uh, intestines are embossed so that's pretty cool I thought that was a nice touch there's a still from the film this is a two record set show you guys the gatefold artwork here in the middle 
could be a little bit better. I think they kind of phoned that one in. It's kind of a, it looks like a very cheap print image on the inside there. It could have been a little bit better. And then there's some stills from the back there of the track listings. It just, they have them in sequences. And then for the first record here, we have Kind of a grayish, a translucent gray for the first one. And for the second one, a translucent red. If you guys can see that. Now that is absurd. And I have a couple of 10 inch records here to show you guys. And the first one is Christmas Evil. And this is a Death Waltz. And just to kind of give you guys an, an idea of the difference between 10 inch and 12 inch. And this one also just has sequences for their song titles. I think this is just a black record. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, pink with sparkles in it, with glitter or whatever you want to call that. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. And then it also has an art card in here, I believe, or a couple, a couple different art cards here. So that is cool. That was the last soundtrack. Next one here is called Apocalypse Cancelled, a memorial to Anton Xander LaVey, who founded the Church of Satan in the 70s, late 60s actually. And uh, this is just kind of a little tribute to him. And it's a great record. And this was limited, but I can't remember what it was limited to. Maybe a thousand or something like that. And I have Mayhem, the record, the, the uh, record that was banned. This was a bootleg. I did a video about this about a year ago or so. Dawn of the Black Hearts. If you guys are interested in hearing more about that story, go back and check out my upload that I did for this one. There's a really twisted story about this cover. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, this is one from my childhood, and this is the Great Space Coaster. This was signed by... Um, I can't remember who signed it. Ray, I think. This guy was Ray, I believe. That was Ray. I can't remember now, but um, this was a... Saturday morning show that I used to watch when I was a kid. And the next one here I have is Aleister Crowley, The Black Magic Masters, limited edition red vinyl, limited to 666 pieces. I got number 157. This is kind of just about the occult, basically all it is. And here's one that came out in the 70s, I believe. Let me see. It might have even been late 60s, but this is another occult. This is called The Occult Explosion by Nat Friedland. And it also comes with a 12-page booklet about astrology, UFOs, psychic powers, meditation, uh, witchcraft, spiritualism, magic, Satanism. Uh, Anton LaVey had some write-ups in here. And it's just like a, a miscellaneous record about different occult topics and then the last two here are Charles Manson records and these are records that he recorded while he was locked up in prison and the first one here is called the hallways of the always and these were recorded from 82 to 84 and another one here Charles Manson called walking in the truth 
and I believe this was recorded in 85. Here's a quote by Manson here at the bottom. It says, look down at me and you see a fool. Look up at me and you see a god. Look straight at me and you see yourself. So I guess I kind of went too fast if you guys wanted to read the song titles. There may even be some doubles, I'm not sure. but And for a little bonus here at the end, that's all the records I have. I do have two um, laser discs, and the first one here is Life Force. Excellent movie. I do own this on Blu-ray by Scream Factory. But I wanted to pick this up because I do want to start picking up some laser discs. So at the moment, I only have two, and one of them is Life Force, and the second one is 10th Anniversary of Reanimator. Letterbox edition from Elite Entertainment. And this is awesome. So that was it, guys. If you want to make a video response and show me your vinyl collection, or even just comment below, let me know what you guys have. I would love to hear. and Or just leave any other comments. We'll talk about anything you want to. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, other than that, take care, guys, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.